Without a cure for autism, a recent study shows over 40% of parents seek complementary and alternative medicine for their children. Autism affects one in 68 kids and one local boy's family has committed their life to finding help for their son. I like to read books about space and life. Connor Mulholland was diagnosed with autism when he was two years old. Seeking traditional medicine at first, his parents found a doctor recommendation unsettling. She wanted to put him on Prozac and we're like, we came home and we're like, that just doesn't sound right for a two and a half year old. Ben and Ken Mulholland began researching other ways to help their son and tried behavior, speech, occupational therapy, as well as a specialized diet free of sugar, casein, and gluten. Then a friend introduced another effective therapy. Neurofeedback is just, it's one of those God sends, oh my gosh, I wish everybody knew about it. The Mulhollands have seen great strides in their son with the help of Dr. Gary Schumer at the ADD Treatment Center in Torrance. He had no impulse control, but as Dr. Schumer explained it, it there were no, like, his gas pedal was always on and there were no brakes in his brain. Hey, Connor, how you doing? Great. Neurofeedback directly trains the brain to function more efficiently. After brain mapping and understanding where the connectors were weak for Connor, Dr. Schumer advised 50 sessions. But this is a direct treatment on the brain that facilitates things in a way that I don't know any other treatment that does. A sensor is put on each ear and depending on what brain waves are targeted, there may be one to three sensors put on the scalp in one 30-minute session. Neurofeedback, it's supporting the other therapies. Connor used to have tactile defensiveness, sensory issues, and abrasive behavior. Neurofeedback has changed all that. Connor had no intention of giving us a typical life, and it's been the best journey I have, could even wish for. Neurofeedback is not only for autism and ADD, but can help with a variety of neurological concerns, including anxiety, depression, and mood swings. Torrance and five other cities in the South Bay have teamed up for a very important